Hyundai Motor Group, and many other valued partners, each bringing something essential to achieve what we call human centered And general manager for humanoid robots at Boston Dynamics. And I'm Aya Durbin. I lead our humanoid application product strategy at Boston. I see a very clear path to that future coming to life. I've been designing, building, and programming robots for my entire career, and I've never been more excited about what's next than I am right now. This vision, we needed a, a robot that was built for the rigors of industry. We've been working on humanoids for more than a decade at Boston Dynamics. So as you can see, Atlas really does stand up the way that we show in our videos online. And we get tons of questions about this. Way to get up, and it turns out this is it. The other question we get all the time is how Atlas is moving. How is Atlas moving today? So public, and as you can see, its walk is pretty natural and pretty smooth. Push the limits on natural walking just for this performance. And I think we've done something really special. We've also been at this robotics thing for a while, and we've learned that there's more to it than just copying nature. We can pick the best parts of what nature has to offer and do better in others. So as you can see, Atlas here has joints that can move 360 degrees. This lets Atlas move even more efficiently than humans, particularly in manufacturing environments where every second counts. started production of this new robot at our Boston headquarters, and our entire 2026 supply has already been allocated to robots that make work safer, faster, and more scalable. Technology not for show, but for real, for measurable advantage. We connect mobility, manufacturing, logistics, and robotics into one integrated loop. And I'm Carolina Parada, and I lead robotics at Duo DeepMind. Well, Carolina, finally we are here just to demonstrate incredible athletic feats, as well as deploy them. Um, Transform robotics, and we've seen firsthand how robotics can shape the frontier of AI. Um, today marks an important first step on the path towards AI.